Good morning. I want to share with you today one of my most precious possessions, a Bible from my grandparents. They gave it to me when I was uh, 10 years old, and they wrote in the very beginning, they said this, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1.16, our best gift to you in remembrance of our 50th wedding anniversary, Rosa S. Eckelman, your grandma, Herman J. Eckelman, your grandpa. They wanted me to spend time in God's word. I hope you do too. Spending time in God's word, the Bible, is one of the best ways that we can begin on the path of a relationship with God. It's also one of the best ways we can learn more about God on a daily basis. Spending time in God's word starts us on the path to what I call living in conversation with God. That's where we discover God's thoughts, his values. We dive into some of his mysteries. We explore his desires, what makes him smile, what makes him cry, what warms his heart, what breaks his heart. Where should you begin? If you've never done this before, or if you'd like to get back into it for the first time in a while, let me encourage you to start in the first chapter of the Gospel of John. You'll find it about three quarters of the way, maybe a little further into your Bible. Find it in the uh, table of contents if you'd like, and then find the page that way. It's one of the favorite ways to do that. And in John chapter 1, it begins like this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and blood and lived among us. You see, John wants us to know that Jesus Christ, the, God, the, the one who is God made human, he is to the invisible God what your words and mine are to our invisible thoughts. Words are how we know one another. When you want to know someone, you hope they'll talk to you. When you want to get someone angry with you, a, a friend or someone like that, you just give them the silent treatment. You stop talking. You see, because what a person is, the information that they deliver to the world usually comes through their words. And after untold millennia of comparative silence, God Almighty expressed himself to the universe. He spoke to the world through the word made flesh, the person of Jesus Christ. So I look back again at this dedication page of this Bible to Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so my question, and the question Paul would ask of you and me, is are we ashamed of this gospel? Let me press that a little bit because it sounds so negative. Let's put it in a more positive way. Are we so proud of the power of Scripture and the person of Jesus Christ to whom all of Scripture points to that we are willing to make this a part of our daily rhythm? of everyday life. I hope you are. I hope I will in the days ahead. I hope we will as a congregation together. I hope your day, even today, is filled with the words of God and spent in the presence of God, a God who never wants to stop for a moment of living in conversation with you. Have a great day. I'll talk with you soon. <music>